I want to bring in uh, now Neil Bradley. He is the executive vice president and chief policy officer at the U.S. Chamber of Commerce uh, because the chamber is out this week with a nationwide initiative to address the worker shortage we're seeing in the U.S. Neil, before we get to what the initiative is, real quickly, just paint the picture. How bad is this worker shortage right now? Well, we're using the term crisis because that's frankly what it is. Uh, when you look at uh, the inability that employers have to fill open jobs and the fact that from the construction industry where they're turning down new opportunities to the restaurant industries where they're closing for lunch service simply because they don't have enough workers, it is a widespread problem that's ultimately holding our economy back. So then, of course, the question is, Neil, uh, how do we solve that problem? How do we fix that crisis? Well, there, there's no single solution. So it's important to remember that before the pandemic, we had a worker shortage. Uh, today, as we exit the pandemic, the pandemic has exacerbated some of the underlying causes. So whether it's parents who need uh, access to affordable child care so that they can return to work, schools that are reopened so that their kids are in in-person school, or addressing the skills gap. Those are things that we have to do. In addition, we have to remove the disincentives that encourage people to stay unemployed. We know that about one in four workers is taking home more money in unemployment than they earned working. That's holding back. That's why we're so pleased to see half the states now move to rescind that $300. And then ultimately, we have to have a conversation about immigration. Talk to me a little bit more about the conversation regarding immigration. How is that going to move the needle here when it comes to, you know, getting people back into the workforce in a meaningful way? So uh, a couple of areas. Uh, because of the pandemic, it's exacerbated the work shortage. So go to a resort town, any beach in the United States, typically in the summer, you would find a lot of those seasonal jobs filled by people who are on temporary visas into the United States. Um, this is not a new phenomenon. Because of the pandemic, those folks aren't here today. We can begin to remove some of those barriers, expedite the approval, but ultimately we need to increase the number of people who are coming in both permanently and on a temporary basis for employment-based reasons. Our economy's gotten a lot bigger. The needs for workers has gotten a lot bigger, but we haven't adjusted our uh, immigration levels. And so the Biden administration deserves credit. A couple of weeks ago, they announced 22,000 more seasonal H-2B visas. That number needs to be a lot higher. Yesterday, we called on Congress to work with the administration to double the level of H-2B and H-1B visas and double the level of employment-based immigration. All right. Clearly, more work needs to be done. Neil Bradley, U.S. Chamber of Commerce's executive vice president, thanks for being with us today.